Get ready to experience living your best life with the catalyst of change and voice of hope to the nation's transformative leader and teacher life coach. Delivering a message of hope and encouragement is her purpose to leading God's people from all walks of life from a place of despair to a place of purpose and destiny. Destiny. Dr. Veronica Simpson, a trailblazer for rising leaders and uncompromising voice that God is using to stir up the body of Christ. Get ready to come up higher and discover what God is saying about your promise, your purpose, your personal journey of self-discovery to awaken your most dominant dreams and fulfill your purpose for life. So come on inside and prepare your heart and mind to receive direction to step into your divine destiny and live your best life. tuning in and joining in my life changing broadcast which is living your best life where you will receive life changing direction and you will receive inspirational and encouragement I am your host Dr. Veronica Simpson and I am excited to be with you on this on this day this is a wonderful day and I do pray that you are being blessed and that you are walking in the favor of God so let's get with it. The Lord has been dealing with me on prayer. So I want to come today to no other than educate you and give you some knowledge and perhaps some tools that you can use uh, in the midst of your prayer life. It is so, it is so needful that we pray in this hour. So I need you to hear me and hear me well. Praise be to God. When we receive instructions, we can go into the throne room. We will understand how to communicate with the Lord. We will understand to be quiet when he is speaking. So I believe, praise be to God, that you're in, 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 a, in a wonderful uh, 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 setting to receive what God has for you. I am excited, praise be to God, to be able to render you uh, power, the teaching on power of prayer. So grab your pencil. Grab your pen, grab your Bible, praise be to God. If you are in that type of setting where you can sit as a student, praise be to God. If not, praise be to God, just amen as you watch this live um, broadcast today. I just want you to hear what God is saying. Let's get to it. Let's pray before we go into this uh, educational uh, message on today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for allowing us to be in this setting on today. We thank and praise you for this awesome broadcast. I pray today that those that are watching and listening, praise be to God, that they would take away from this educational uh, teaching, that they will go into the throne room and communicate with you in a more effective way. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind anything that would try to interrupt uh, their, the, 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 the segment on today, the broadcast on today, that the, your people may be fully aware of what you're saying on this assignment about prayer. So, again, I thank you for pray, for tuning in. I thank you for joining me. And I thank you, praise be to God, just for supporting me uh, on this national broadcast. Preach the Word Worldwide Network. Let's get to it. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. What is the power of prayer? What is the power of prayer? Well, the power of prayer is knowing what prayer is. What is prayer? What really, what really is prayer? And lots of times we, we feed off of how others pray. We feed off of how others communicate with the Lord. But on today, praise be to God, I pray that you would go to a higher dimension in your prayer life. Because let me tell you, without prayer... Hallelujah. You cannot communicate with the Lord. So understand the power of prayer, the power of prayer, praise be to, be to God. What is prayer? Let's talk about this. What, what I want to say to you this, this morning is that prayer is so meaningful. It's so wonderful. Um, I, I just love it when the Lord wakes me up early in the morning and I get up out of obedience, praise be to God, and seek his face. It's just something about hearing the voice of God in prayer, receiving instructions and directions in prayer. But what is prayer? The most basic definition of prayer is this, talking to God, talking to God. Prayer is not a meditation or a passive reflection. Hear what I'm saying on today. It is a direct access to God. It is a direct address to God. Praise be. It is the communication of the human soul with the Lord, praise God, who created the soul. Hallelujah. So prayer is the primary way 
for the believer in Jesus Christ to communicate. Praise be to God. To communicate his or her emotions, his or her desires with God and to fellowship with God. Hallelujah. So that's what, what prayer is. Let me tell you something. Prayer is the Christian's way of communicating with God. I want to say that again. Prayer is the Christian way of communicating with God. When we pray, we praise God and we thank him and we tell him how much we love him. Praise God. When we pray, we enjoy his presence. Hallelujah. We are in his presence and we tell him what is going on in our lives. You know, it, it, it baffles me that, that people uh, can communicate with others better than they can communicate with God. But they are limited. There's limitations with people. But with God, there is no limitations. So I beseech you today to understand what prayer is all about. Praise be to God. So when we pray, we make a request. We make a request and we seek guidance. We seek guidance and we ask for wisdom. We ask for wisdom. Because let me tell you, God loves this exchange with his children. What you're doing, you're making an exchange. He loves it. Hallelujah. Just as we love, praise God. The exchange when we have with our children, when we have with our loved ones, when we have with family, when we have with associates, when we have with our friends, praise be to God, we love exchange. But this is all about making an exchange with God. And so the power of prayer is magnificent. Hear what I'm saying. It's magnificent. And even as I am educating you and teaching you and giving you the assignment and fulfilling the assignment that God has you to fill on this particular broadcast, praise be to God. I want the spirit of God to rise up in you that you can understand, praise be to God, what prayer is all about. In this hour, we need to be praying. So as I said before, we make an exchange, right? It's fellowship. With God is the heart of prayer. Fellowship with God is the heart of prayer. So too often, you know, we lose sight. We lose sight on how simple prayer is really supposed to be. How many of you is communicating? It's, it's talking. It's talking to God. When we make petitions to God, we let God know exactly where we stand. We let God know exactly what's going on in our lives, praise be to God. In our prayers, we got to admit Hallelujah. We must admit that God is greater than, than, than anything, greater than anything that has came up against us, greater than anything that we will embark upon. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So God is greater. That's the first thing you need to understand. God is greater than we are. And ultimately, he knows what's best for us. Come on. He knows what's best for us. And in knowing what's best for us, we need to learn how to trust him. Oh, but you say, I got a hard time doing that. Not when you communicate with him. Not when you communicate with him. For the word of the Lord says in Romans chapter 11, verses 33 through 36, God is good and asks us to trust him. In prayer, we say essentially, not my will, but your will be done. The key to answer prayer is praying according to the will of God. And in accordance with his word, prayer is not seeking our own will. It's not seeking our own will, people of God. It's not seeking our own will, but seeking to align ourselves with the will of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it is that. Aligning ourselves with the will of God. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So why is prayer so powerful? Why is prayer so powerful? I tell you why prayer is so powerful. Prayer is a mighty weapon at the disposal of every man and woman. Every man and woman of God. Every man and woman of God who loves God. Every man and woman of God that is uh, seeking and to fulfill their relationship with God. Because see, at the end of the day, he knows what's best. He knows what's best. So, so, so prayer is a mighty weapon Woo! at your disposal, at my disposal. And it's for every man and woman, every boy and girl. It, 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 we, 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 we have this, this arsenal, this weapon, praise be to God, with God, with his son, Jesus Christ, praise be to God. 
and the spirit of the God, of the Lord, the Holy Spirit. For he says he make intercessions when we pray. When we don't know what to pray, he steps in, the Holy Spirit steps in, and he begins to make intercessions on our behalf. So prayer energizes us. It energizes the heart of a believer. How? Through the power of the Spirit. So consistent prayer, it releases the power of God's blessings. Come on now. The power of God's blessings over your life and over the circumstances in your life. That's why it's so powerful. That's why prayer is so powerful. Woo, let, me, let, me, let me throw this before you. What are the five reasons to pray? Why, why do I have to pray? Why, why do I have to uh, seek God? Why do I have to communicate with God? Number one, to strengthen your relationship with God. To strengthen your relationship with God. Number two, ask for guidance. Even Jesus asked for God's guidance. Number three, ask for forgiveness. Number four, to unlock the faith in our lives. Number five, to ask for something you want and desire. What are the five elements of prayer? There are elements of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Worship and praise is an element. Gratitude and thanksgiving is an element. Confession and humility is an element. Blessings and benedictions is an element. And requests and supplications is five elements of prayer. These are the five elements of prayer. I want to go back to why are we to pray? Why are we to pray? We are to pray to be strengthened in our relationship with God. You will be weak if you don't pray. You will be feeble if you don't pray. You will become impotent and crippled if you don't pray. So to strengthen you, your relationship with God, to ask for guidance, you need to know which way to go. You need to know what to do. You need to know where to do it, how to do it, and where to do it, and with who to do it. Even Jesus asked for guidance, as I, said, as I said earlier, to ask for forgiveness. We struggle with forgiveness. Ah, uh, we don't want to forgive. It's hard to forgive when, we, when we've been wrong, when we've been hurt, when we, you know, when we, when we have had uh, some things to conflict in our relationship. It's hard to ask forgiveness. But I'm telling you, through communicating with God in prayer, Hallelujah. You will begin to ask for forgiveness. You will begin to pray for the individual or the people or the, the individual that have harmed you, that have caused you great pain. Come on. And great sorrow. Unlock your faith in your life. You need faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that we cannot see. You need faith. And faith is an action word. By you praying, by you Getting in the prayer, prayer, prayer uh, room with the Lord. Praise be to God. Your faith is unlocked. Your faith is strengthened. And then you can ask. You can ask. If you're in the will of God, you can ask for the desires. And if it's in his will, he will grant it. So, I go back and I say to you on today, God wants to strengthen you and discipline you in your prayer life. I believe that with all my heart. And, 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 you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to get up early in the morning. It's a struggle to get out of a bed where you're sleeping and you're, you're resting. But it's in those times when God will speak to you and you can talk to the Lord. God's word calls us to pray, people. God's word calls us to pray. We can do everything else, but we struggle with prayer. And we also struggle with getting in the word of God, which is a whole other subject. But prayer... And see, I learned this, and I'm learning this. And as I learn this, I give it to you, but I practice it as well. I'm not exempt. Hallelujah. God's word calls us to pray. And one key reason to pray is because God has commanded us to pray. See, it's a commandment. It's a part of disciplinary. God has commanded us to pray. If we are able to, to hear him, if we want to walk in his will, the first thing that he commands us to do is pray. And if we are obedient to his will, guess what? The prayer, the prayer will be honored. The prayer will be answered. And the prayer will be a part of our lives every day if we're disciplined. So where does the Bible call us to pray? Because you need scripture. What does the Bible call us to pray? Well, in Matthew 5 and 44, the word of the Lord says, pray for those who persecute you. In Matthew 5, uh, 6 and 5, the word of the Lord says, and when you pray, 
Matthew 6 and 9 says, then this then is how you should pray. Come on now. God's word calls us to pray. Hallelujah. In Romans 12 and 12, the word says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. I can go on. Ephesians 6 and 18. And pray, pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. That's Ephesians 6 and 18. In Philippians 4 and 6, you will find out. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything. By prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm talking about the power of prayer. The power of prayer. Prayer. P-R-A-Y-E-R. -E the power of prayer. Colossians 4 and 2. Devote yourselves to prayer. Be watchful and thankful. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray continually. 1 Timothy 2 and 1. I urge then, first of all, the request, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. Prayer is an act of obedience. Hallelujah. Prayer is an act of obedience. God calls us to pray. And when we pray, he responds. He responds. I know you need some responding from the Lord. Because I need responding from the Lord. But you got to make an exchange. And the exchange is that you be obedient. Because the word of the Lord commands us to pray. Ah, Lord, you may be out there this morning saying, I struggle with prayer. I struggle to get up and get in God's face. I struggle to pray throughout the day. I struggle, Dr. Simpson. Well, I'm giving you a way out. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a way out of struggling. I'm telling you on this morning that praise be to God, God is commanding us to go back to the throne room. Here's the thing. He calls us to pray. God's word calls us to pray. Now, if God's word calls us to pray, he's going to tell us how Jesus prayed regularly. You need an example? Why did Jesus pray? Why did Jesus pray? One reason he prayed was an example for us. So that we can learn from him. Praise be to God. The best teacher there is. But you need to understand that the gospel, the word of God is full of references of his prayers. Of him praying. Praise God. Let me give you some examples. Matthew 14 and 23. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to what? Pray. Matthew 26 and 36. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Hallelujah. Communication with the Father. So I can get direction. Now, if Jesus had to go pray to the Father, what you think you and I have to do? Matthew, praise God, 26 and 36. Then Jesus, I read that, but I'm going to read it again. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Mark 1 and 35. Very early in the morning. Oh, Lord Jesus. Very early in the morning while it was still dark. Jesus got up, left the house, went off to a solitary place where he prayed. That's Mark 1 and 35. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you meditate on that for one moment. Mark 1 and 35 says, very early in the morning, Lord, give me a spirit. Give me the strength to rise up early in the morning and seek your face. You set the day. You set what you are. You prepare for what's coming on that day. Praise be to God. Very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house. And went off to a solitary place. A place where there would be no interruption. See the problem is. We sometimes get in a place. Where there's too much interruption. Baby you can't pray. With the cell phone next to you. You can't pray. Hallelujah. With the radio going on. The TV going on. You need to get in that prayer closet. I, I, I challenge you. To create in your home. A prayer closet. A sanctuary. Somewhere where you can be. Uh, 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 in the presence of God with no interruptions. <laughs> Hallelujah. Talking about the power of prayer. Luke 5 and 16. But Jesus often withdrew to a lonely place to do what? Pray. 
Luke 6 and 12. On the days of Jesus went outside, went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night. Watch this now. Praying to God. Luke 6 and 12. Jesus prayed. So you need to pray. I need to pray. Not just when we are in distress. Not just when we want something. You need to pray. This need to be a daily practice in your life, in your, in your living. Praise be to God. Luke 18 and 1. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is just an educational moment. Hallelujah. To, to teach you some of the tools that you can use in the power of prayer. In your prayer life. In your prayer life. Lord, today, 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 I need you to strengthen me. I need you to, to communicate with me. You know, I've been communicating. I'm interceding for somebody right now. I've been communicating with everybody else. And yes, their advice is good and their wisdom is good. But Lord, I need more guidance. I need more prayer. I need you to speak to me. I need to be able to know which way to go, where to go, how to do it, when to do it, who to do it with. Lord, I need you in my prayer life. And I, I, I thank God for this educational teaching because it does nothing but, hallelujah, challenges us to do better. It challenges us to get up off of our gluteal maximus, which is our behind, and see God's face. See, I believe that prayer changes things. And I not only believe that prayer changes things, the word of the Lord says some of these things come by prayer and fasting. When he cast out the demons that was in the man, he says these things come by praying and fasting. Some things you're going to need to attach fast, prayer with fasting for things to break, 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 break free, to break free from some things. Let me back up to break free from some things for the shackles to fall off of your, your, your lives, your, your family lives, your, 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 you know, your, 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 your inner man to be strengthened. You need to pray. You got to pray. Prayer is in, it's in the relationship with the Lord. And one thing I'm, I'm, I'm holding fast to is he commend us to pray. And when he command us to pray, that means that we need to act in obedience now, whoever I'm talking you to, to, to you, whoever I'm talking to today, praise God, the Lord is speaking directly to you. You need to tune up your prayer life. You need to fine tune some things. Maybe your life, maybe everything is going haywire in your life. Maybe there's there's confusion all around you. Maybe you're in distress. Maybe you need a change of your concourse. Maybe you need to receive direction on what to do, which way to go. Maybe you need to, amen, praise God, hallelujah, pray for strength to handle your children, deal with your children, deal with your spouse, deal with your church members, deal with life, period. Because I will tell you that is one of the greatest challenges in this hour is to deal with life. We struggle dealing with life. But praise be to God, there is a book called the Word of God, the Bible, B-I-B-L-E, that we can open up and get in and seek God's face. You say, well, I don't know what to pray. Go to the, to the book of Psalms. Pray the Psalms back to the Lord. Worship the Lord. And I guarantee you that God will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are, people of God. Power of prayer. It's no incident that this 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 uh this uh silhouette is raising his hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, I surrender. I give you everything. Hallelujah, I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my soul. Hallelujah, I give you my emotions. Hallelujah, when you go in to see God's face, Hallelujah, let go and let God. Hallelujah, let Him take the wheel. Let him be the potter and you be the clay on the wheel. Give him permission, you all, for, to, for you to get a breakthrough. Prayer is necessary. Prayer, and I bind the spirit of trifling. I bind the spirit. I just heard that in the Holy Ghost. I bind the spirit of laziness. Get up. See God's face so that you will know which way to go. So that you will hear his voice on direction. Stop being in a place of confusion. Confusion is of the enemy. In my last segment, 
judgment. I told you the Lord said he had a no-fly zone over you. Now you got to do your part. Pray. Pray without ceasing. What is prayer? Talking to God. Talking to God. It's simple. Lord, teach me how to talk to you. Lord, teach me how to talk to you. I can talk to everybody else, but teach me how to talk to you. Make your request known. Make your request known. Make your request known. For I will tell you right now, hallelujah, that you will see a difference. That your life will be changed. When you marry yourself, oh, Holy Ghost, to prayer. Hallelujah. Marry yourself to prayer. Hallelujah. If you're divorced, come back to prayer. Hallelujah. So I give God praise and I give God honor for allowing me to educate and teach us, hallelujah, what it is to pray. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So again, I thank and praise God for you on today. This is another worthy and profound broadcast on Preach the Word of God Worldwide Network. Praise be to God where I have been allowed it. Praise be to God to come to you. Hallelujah. That I can encourage you. That I can inspire you. Hallelujah. Through living your best life. Again, God bless you until we meet again. Listening to Living Your Best Life with the in-depth life application principles and teachings with Dr. Veronica Simpson. We pray that you've been blessed by this timely word of encouragement and insightful teachings as you prepare to step into this new season and live your best life. Visit Dr. Veronica Simpson at drvsimpson.com. That's drvsimpson.com. On Facebook at Veronica H. Simpson. Instagram at Hazel Simpson 316. On YouTube, Pastor Veronica Simpson. Speaker, advocate, author, and educator sought after empowerment, veteran, revisionist thinker, and a transformative leader that possesses a mantle to meet the needs of everyone. Dr. V.S. would love to host your next event, workshop, or conference. Contact her at Veronica Simpson 59 at yahoo.com. That's Veronica Simpson 59 at yahoo.com for more details.